Hi, in this video we want to talk about alphabetical index. So in this uh, document we want to insert some uh, words in, in index uh, entries. So after that I want to create an index, alphabetical one. So let's choose these word steps and how we can insert it uh, in, the in, in the alphabetical index. We go to insert, table of contents and index, index entry. And from here, we choose alphabetical index and we have steps. Let's insert and let's close. Mm, it seems uh, it wasn't inserted. Let's try with another word. We can activate the toolbar, view toolbar insert in order to have a quick insert from here. So this is insert index entry. So let's try again with another word. Let's try with the door. And we click here, alphabetical index, the door, insert. Now you can see it's gray. Let's do the same thing for steps. Now I hope it works. Insert is gray, so it's okay. Okay, let's go down. Let's choose another thing here. Let's see a word we want to add in the index entries. Uh, suddenly, let's choose suddenly. But in this case, we don't want exactly this word. We want uh, this word, but also a synonym of this word. So we, are, we write suddenly and in parentheses uh, quickly. Okay, insert and close. So it's not necessary to have the same thing like in the text. We can change that as we want. Let's see, we have here this um, field, okay, because we have this uh, term here. Let's choose another expression, labor, let's insert labor insert okay it's uh, it's okay it's gray now let's see another thing we have introduction it's level one and about author and um, the next subtitle are uh, between so we can add something like this uh, introduction to be the main Okay, and about author to depend from introduction and the same about this book. So let's see how to do that. So this is a alphabetical index with hierarchy. So let's see. Let's select uh, about author. We add entry, but in the first case, we want to add introduction. We insert, close and select this one, insert again and have about this book in introduction. Let's close. Now let's see if we add this uh, index, alphabetical index, what is happening? Let's insert from here. If I have the toolbar, so I cho can choose alphabetical index but we can insert from here, insert table of contents, index, uh, table of contents, index from here. So we choose alphabetical index and let's choose uh, this as default. Let's change a little bit here. Okay, it's not okay, let's uh, edit. I wanted something else. Um, let's see, case, um, Okay, now it's better. So introduction is here, level one, and level two is about author and about this book. And also we have the same, the terms we introduced uh, before. And you can see here I have suddenly, but uh, and quickly, but in the text we have just suddenly. So anyway, we have everything we wanted. We know the page. And as you can see, everything is alphabetical. I, L, S, S, T. We can check here auto 
capitalize entries in order to have uh, the first letter uh, like this so let's see what we can do more let's edit this this uh, index let's go to entries we have here um, the letter if i want let's see where it is entries here alphabetical delimiter so i you can see on the right in the preview we have the letters and after that we have the terms we want to use let's choose a strong emphasis oh no from here uh, from here so it's true strong emphasis okay so i have the letter with strong emphasis and after uh, that letter we have um, all the words beginning with that letter let's uh, see let's check that we can see here we can check this be separated by comma and we have to remove the tab so click on tab delete let's update uh, we have to change everywhere so level one tab delete tab delete and now everything looks fine let's see uh, the number of page is uh, with no space between text so let's insert a space here and a space here and a space here now it's much better so we can have this uh, with comma so we don't have each word on a new line what we can do more we can change the style for example for the title of alphabetical index we can change Okay, now it's italic let's uh, we click here and we double click here in order to change you can see a preview here okay what we can do we can have this index in columns like this uh, it's very useful when we have a large page or um, Okay, something like this is much better with two columns in our case. And we can change also the background. We can have this gray or we can change with a, a much nicer color like green or blue. Okay, we can change that. Of course, I can delete all the entries. How? I move to uh, one uh, index in the text index entry so i go to the index entry in the text let's do this again so right click index entry and we have here to move from one to the other or to delete let's i want to delete this introduction delete quickly i want to delete let's see what we have let's update we have just two elements okay so everything is very easy to use very easy to change oops i let's delete and let's insert again so very easy to insert an alphabetical index thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video thank you